Hi guys, it's Coach Ali. I'm here at the studio with Stephanie and today we're going to help you work on your lats to get that nice V taper. Let's do this. All right, you guys, my first go-to exercise is a lat pull down. So this is really going to focus on your back, both as far as strength and aesthetics is concerned. You can see I'm holding wide and I'm pulling with my elbows to my side and just trying to get those elbows all the way down to my ribs. We want minimal movement in the torso, so we don't want a big swinging torso because that's just going to create momentum and it's going to take away from your exercise. Now you can see Stephanie's holding a slightly narrower hand position, but that's because I've got a wider frame than hers. So if you're a little bit narrower, you can also hold a little bit narrower as well. It's the same movement just making sure that the torso is not swinging and that your lats are doing all the work. Now, a body weight approach to this same exercise is just to do some natural pull-ups. So if you're doing that from a wide hand position, you're essentially replicating the movement of a correct lat pull-down. Now, pull-ups are gonna be harder if you're heavier. So if, for example, they're not particularly easy for myself because I'm 100 kilograms. So the more leg weight that you have, the harder the pull-ups are gonna be. But you know what, get into them have a go, get as many of them up as you can, and you're gonna get better at it with time. Now, if you can't do pull-ups, a really good starting position is to do an assisted pull-up. So if you have a look at what Stephanie's doing at the moment, she's got her feet on the ground, but what she's doing is she's replicating a pull-up movement. And by pushing off her feet, she's basically relieving a whole bunch of her body weight. So it's only partial body weight. The main thing with this one is to make sure that you don't change it into a row because at this point we're working on the pull-up so you want to make sure that your hips are staying underneath you. We want to attack the outer part of your lats for this one so it's important to maintain that upright upper body. Okay, now let's work on some thickness in your lats and your rhomboids. So my go-to move for this one is bent over rows. Um, you can do this single-sided or you could do it with both sides together the way that I'm demonstrating. The main thing here is to make sure that you keep your elbows tight, keep them by your ribs. We don't want your elbows hanging out with this one. This is going to allow you to really hit that thickness in your lats, particularly in the lower lats region. Make sure that you have good range of movement. So try and pull all the way up because we want to go all the way to the middle of your back as close to your spine as we can with this one. Now, a good alternative is to just use a Smith machine and you can see I've gone with supinated hand position so that it can help me keep my elbows tucked in. Bend right over the bar and again, good range of movement. It's very important to maintain your spinal integrity on this one, guys. So make sure that you're not hunching your back. You want to make sure that you're pushing your butt out and then leverage off your thighs. So use the strength that you've got in your quadriceps to hold you in place. And so we want to try and put as little pressure on your erectors and your lower back as we can. Not everybody's going to have a Smith machine at their disposal. So a good way of doing this exercise at home is just pick up a barbell. Same thing as far as the supinated hand position is concerned. Um, again, same thing with good range of movement and just making sure those elbows are tucked in, keeping the spinal integrity and keeping good weight on your thighs and just making sure that you've got a supportive base. It's, it's essentially the same movement as what you would do on a Smith machine, except you've got control over the horizontal. So you've just got to make sure that you keep your movement strictly vertical. Another alternative, of course, is just to use your dumbbells. So we can assume the same position. Now, for comfort, I'm doing this one with neutral hands. And so it's really going to allow me to keep those elbows tucked in by my side without actually putting any pressure on my wrist. This is a good variation if you've got trouble with your wrist and you can't go into that supinated position with a bar. So simply use some dumbbells to do it. So if you've got more equipment at your disposal, then we can always go to a low pulley or if you're trying some of these exercises at the gym, you can see um, Steph's doing it with a low pulley, just going into bent over rows. The alternative to this exercise would be to do seated rows, which puts you in a seated position, but essentially replicates the same movement. But you can see across all of these exercises, the thing that they have in common is that we're pulling back towards the ribs as far as your hand position is concerned, and that we're making sure the elbows are tucked in and that your back's nice and straight. Okay, now we want to work our way up your back. So I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to go to some T-rows. Now, this is almost opposite form as far as 
you know, comparing it with traditional rows is concerned because rather than having your hands and elbows low and having them tucked in by your side, we've got it positioned high and your elbows are hanging out and as you pull up, you're trying to make a perfect T with your elbow. So we want a straight line from one elbow to the other. So this needs to be a nice wide movement. This is a fantastic exercise for thickening that back up and really getting that uh, V taper going. Now I'm using a leverage machine, but if you don't have one at your disposal, you can do the body weight version of these T rows. So essentially it looks like a push up in reverse. So you can see Stephanie demonstrating all it is is just picking up her body weight, bringing that chest all the way to the bar, but we're maintaining the same position as far as keeping those elbows nice and wide is concerned. And you can see that there's no hunch in the back either, so she's bringing the entire torso up. We can mimic the same thing just using some dumbbells. So we could go into a bent over T-row position, or you could do it single-sided the way I'm doing it, just using a flat bench. So by getting into that three-point position, it's gonna give me ample stability, and then I'm essentially doing the T-row, but I'm doing it one arm at a time. You can see my spine is nice and neutral. I'm pushing my butt out so that there's no hunch in my back, and then I'm staying nice and stable and just making sure that the elbow is pulling nice and wide. We can do the same thing using some cables as well. So you can see Steph working some T-rows using a high pulley. Now, again, the same thing, we wanna make sure those elbows are nice and high, so when you get into your finishing position, you want a straight line from elbow to elbow. No movement in the torso, so you have gotta make sure you hold a nice solid base. So when we do this exercise as a T-row as opposed to a face pull, you wanna make sure that your hands are pulling a little bit wider because we wanna really try and hit the lats and your rhomboids as opposed to your posterior delts on this one. Anyway guys, that's what I've got for you today to really work on your lats and get that V taper and get that beautiful shape going. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There'll be a lot more tuitions like this coming up.